me, DVD Movie Buffer, and I'm excited to do this review because one of my favorite genres has to be the fantasy, sword, and sorcery genres. So it's good to check check these movies out again. Um, this one I never checked out before, so it's called. Let me make sure I got it right. The Sword of the Barbarians, and this is the Japanese print, by the way. And um, it's pretty much obvious what this movie is. It is a Conan ripoff, but and it has that um, classical music, powerful, just like Conan, but. I actually enjoy the classical music background of this movie too, and the movie itself also. Um, the movie is about a warrior, you know, supposed to protect a village, but he failed. Those got raided and destroyed, you know, by this warlord who worshipped a goddess of fire named Rani. And um, it's pretty easy, you know, he goes out for revenge, you know, going on his quest with uh, Yaki, the princess of the village, and a samurai warrior. Well, he didn't look like a samurai, but he was, he's a samurai warrior anyway. <laughs> so they went off on a quest to find an arc, which he got, and the, way, the weapon he had was a bow and arrow. Like a, like a big crossbow, I mean. You know, similar, but not similar to Conquest, but the concept of the being a powerful weapon has to be a bow and arrow, right? <laughs> but still, um, the crossbow was a powerful weapon, but he didn't really use it that much now, I mean. That was kind of weird, you know, but... All in all, it was mostly a lot of sword fighting, muscle guys. You have mutant monsters looking characters that she had clipped before my review. But all in all, the movie is good. I actually enjoy 